So as we all know, Windows XP has not been supported by Microsoft in a really long time. Well, since 2014 to be exact. But yet you still find people that use Windows XP and completely swear by it. Granted that number has shrank a lot through the last few years, but those people are still out there. Despite how out of date and unsecure the operating system is, there's still people that just can't escape the classic UI, those old Windows XP sounds, and just how simple the Windows operating system was back in 2001. And you know, I really can't blame them. Especially after using Windows 10 and 11 after the past couple years, I can kind of see the appeal. But sadly, the reality is, is that Windows XP is becoming less and less usable every day. And it's actually kind of amazing what you can still get away with running on it today. But more than likely in the not so distant future, Windows XP will probably become like Windows 95 and Windows 98 and be completely unusable. But what if I told you you could still update this over 20 year old operating system? Well, you actually can, but not with the traditional Windows Update, but with a site called Legacy Update. Legacy Update is a website that gives you access to updates for older versions of Windows. It has an extensive catalog of pretty much every update you would ever need, and the way it updates your computer is by reviving the automatic update feature already in Windows. And if you're already tired of hearing me say the word update just as much as I am saying it, well, get ready, you're about to hear it a lot more. But either way, with that intro out of the way, let's go ahead and check out Legacy Update on Windows XP. Okay, so here we are with a completely fresh install of Windows XP. This is on VirtualBox this time. I know I typically use VMware, but on my new PC build, for whatever reason, I can't get AMD V to work. And I've tried everything, like turning off the hypervisor and everything. But it just still doesn't seem to work. And without any sort of virtualization, uh, VirtualBox just seems to work better for some reason. So I got to figure that out. Hopefully I'll figure it out eventually. But either way. I've already got the legacy update site up. Uh, really, the only thing we have to do on here is um, install legacy update. We'll go ahead and save that for now. We'll just save that in, I guess we'll just save it in our desktop, I guess. But we will get to that in a second. Um, it does talk about XP users maybe having to do a workaround. Uh, we might have to unblock legacy update in the properties, but yeah. So that was very simple. So let's go over here to legacy update. Let's go to properties, go to unblock, apply. And yeah, that's literally all we have to do. So we're not going to do the embedded 2009 updates. By the way, this is SP3 or service pack three. So that's, um, we don't need to do a service pack, but I have heard if you try to update the service pack three on legacy update, it can give you problems. So I would probably just avoid doing that. But either way, we're gonna go ahead and hit install and let it do its thing. All right, so Legacy Update is finished installing already and it's already checking for uh, the latest updates on this version of XP. So I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. It said it could take a couple minutes, but we're gonna see. By the way, you can also check out, I guess, Legacy Update has a Discord server. So you guys could check that out, especially if you need any help, if you like run into any issues or anything. And while you're at it, you might as well check out the Nostalgic 9080 Discord. It's a pretty fun place for all of us to talk about random stuff that I make videos about. So it's a really fun place. Go check it out. The link's down in the description. All right, so it's finished that. Um, so I guess, let's look at our update history. Let's see what it actually did. It did an update for Windows XP. This update installs a permanent copy of package installer for Windows. Enable software updates to have significantly smaller download sizes. Okay. Microsoft Genuine Validation Tool enables you to verify that your copy of Microsoft Windows is genuine. I'm sure this probably needs some more updates. So we'll go ahead and let it scan our computer again. It probably should make us restart though, I would think but we'll see. Okay, so I came to the main page here. Okay, so we can check for updates here and automatic updates is turned on, which I did do that in the install. So we don't have to do that. We'll just go ahead and have it check for updates. A few moments later. All right, so it finally detected all of the updates that we needed to do at least this round. Um, there's some updates that need to be installed. Well, one update that needs to be installed separately and that's the Microsoft.NET Framework 4, which that's extremely old, but here we go, and for, other re for whatever reason it's being really laggy, sadly it's probably because of the lack of any sort of CPU virtualization, which is on the BIOS, I don't get why it's doing that. But either way, we have a bunch of security updates. Um, 
the Windows XP end of support notifications on here. Uh, it lets everybody know that uh, the uh, it ended support on April 8th of 2014. But, wish it wasn't this laggy. Oh, we got an Internet Explorer update too. Which one did it give us? It's here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Internet Explorer 8 for Windows XP. So there we go. I believe Internet Explorer 8's the latest you can get for XP, but don't quote me on that. I think you could probably do some trickery and get the uh, newer ones working on here, but uh, Internet Explorer 8's probably the latest you can go. But yeah, let's just go ahead and install all of these. Go ahead and review and install updates. And yeah, I think we are good to go. So let's go ahead and install them. You know, it's really cool that you can still update versions of Windows like XP and Vista and all that, because I know uh, Microsoft shut down the servers a couple years back. So it is pretty cool that you can update, uh, say, if you have a copy of Windows XP laying around and you want to use it. Maybe not for like a, a daily PC to use, but maybe you just want to mess around with some older games or something and you would like to have your version of Windows up to date. It's a pretty cool way to let you do that and uh, not have to go on shady sites and download a bunch of weird stuff. But either way, we're just going to let this uh, go ahead and finish updating and I will be back when it's done. All right, so it is finished installing 129 updates, so it is prompting us to go ahead and restart our computer. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we are. We're restarting. Wow, that's really slow. That's a beautiful sound. By the way, there we go. Uh, it has given us our uh, Windows XP end of support on April 8th of 2014. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and click here to learn more. Oh, and uh, yeah, Windows Internet or Internet Explorer has uh, updated. It's now Win uh, Internet Explorer 8. So that's why that looks different. But we can just leave that alone. Oh, well, it can't display the web page. Never mind. They've probably taken that web page down. But either way, uh, Windows Genuine Advantage notifications. Yeah, so this is just the effort to reduce piracy, I guess. So we'll let it go ahead and do this. To be honest with you, I don't think this really does anything anymore. It'll actually probably get in the way of having to do stuff on Windows XP today. But just for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and install this. It's still saying my computer could be at risk. Well, this operating system is 10 years out of date, so I'm not too worried about that anymore. But um, yeah, there's no virus protection at all, which I mean, at this point, I don't know how much good that'll even do. All right, so uh, there we go. We'll go ahead and finish that. Oh, and it's going to show us something that we can't even see anymore. So never mind. We're just going to go ahead and go back to install updates and we're going to see if it pops anything else up for us. All right, so it just finished its check and we do actually have some more to do. We can, uh, we have three updates that it's just went ahead and selected for us and some optionals. Uh, the dot that framework 3.5, um, just some regular, just some more updates for XP. An update for Internet Explorer 8, Windows Search 4.0 for Windows XP, Windows Media Player 11, uh, Microsoft Security Ad uh, Essentials, the free antivirus. I guess we can check that even though it literally does not uh, nothing. Um, there's a server adapter I don't think we'll be needing. We're just going to go ahead and select all. We're going to go ahead and let it install these updates. And here we go. Oh, and while it was updating, it's went ahead and opened up Windows Live for us. So I guess it's finished installing that. It's, per, it's preparing the installer. Nope. Oh, it couldn't install it. Never mind. Okay, so that's unfortunate. I guess it just can't connect to the server anymore. So that's probably why. But either way, we're just going to go ahead and let it continue. All right, so one thing that did change, though, is that it sent me straight to the user select menu whenever it started. Normally, whenever I do a fresh install, it doesn't do that. It just opens right up. But one of the updates must have changed that and maybe like an added security measure or something. So I'm just going to go ahead and load that up. And there's the beautiful Windows XP startup sound. So now we have all of these different things down here. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check and see if we need to do any more updates. All right, and yeah, it actually has a lot more updates to do. So 
interesting. There's a Windows PowerShell 2.0 optional update we can do. So we're just going to go ahead and do all of these optional updates. Um, it's still talking about the Live Essential thing, which that won't work. But there's just a lot more security updates. So I knew there was going to be a few rounds of us doing this, but yeah. We're just going to go ahead and install these and I will be back when it's done. One hour later. All right, so those updates have finished installing and I've gone ahead and restarted the computer. So let's see if there's any more we have to do. I kind of doubt it. I mean, I really don't see us having to do any more, but I don't know. You never know. So let's go ahead and see. All right, so yeah, there is one more update we can do. Well, actually, technically two with the .NET Framework 4. So it does want me to do one more update. Well, technically two with this .NET, for, .NET Framework 4. But I've pretty much already demonstrated how this works. So yeah, if you guys would like to have a safe way to update your Windows XP or even Vista or 7 install of Windows, Legacy Update is definitely the way to go. And I'm going to leave the link to it uh, down in the description below. It's pretty easy to set up uh, with Windows Vista and 7. There is some extra steps and I do plan on making a video about that here pretty soon. So stay tuned for that, and if you guys like this video, uh, I will make that video sooner. Another cool website that does this kind of thing is Windows Update Restored. This is mainly for like Windows 95 to 2000. Pretty much what it does is that it's archived Windows Update website pages from way back in the day and it lets you use them today so that's really cool but either way i think that's about all i got for this video so i hope you guys enjoyed watching me update windows xp in 2024 going into 2025 i know i haven't made a lot of videos here late and i've really been falling behind in that and i'm starting to kind of get back into doing it again but i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please leave a like subscribe uh, i want to say a special thanks to my super supporters on screen here they are a massive help to the channel and if you would like to become a youtube member yourself go ahead and hit the join button down below i make some special members only videos there sometimes and i try to do some other stuff with it too i also have a patreon if you guys would like to check that out that's down in the description too but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a like and if you want more content like it please subscribe either way i will see you guys in the next one